down and I see this little baggie full of watermelon. Mm -hmm. And next to it, I see this blue concoction. And it was laying on top of a white napkin. Right. And it was so patriotic. Trudy, you didn't even know you did that, did you? <laughs> I did know I put the... So now, what is this one called? This is, this is, has actually multiple meanings behind it, too. This is called a blue coat surge. And the base spirit that we're using for this is blue coat gin. And it's actually made in Philly. Ooh, uh, really? Yeah. So and, this is local. Oh, oh. yeah. And uh, they make it in an old copper still. Mm. And uh, it's, I mean, handcrafted. Has a little bit of that orange Ooh. peel to it. Yes. But it has that juniper base to it. And then uh, orange flavorings with that, too. Uh, a little bit of Cointreau mm -hmm. and blue carousel, which gives it that really, really pretty blue color. So. How do you say that name again? Uh, blue carousel. Carousel. Yeah. Okay. I never know so, how to say that. Yeah. And it's an orange flavored liqueur, but it has that bright blue color. Mm. So it makes for a really beautiful drink. What do you think, Newman? Or, I'm, sorry, what did, well, I'm sorry. What did you think? Hey, look. You know, it, it's a four-hour show. You, you look like you have a blue coat surge mustache. Do I have one? Do I have yeah. a mustache? Yeah, wipe that off. Wipe that off. Don't, no. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> See, I licked my glass and it just licks his lips. This is a layered drink. So this is a little bit more, this is on the medium level of the bartending experience thing, but still pretty easy. Uh, it's, you know, red, white, and blue we're going with, mm -hmm. so... On the bottom, it's going to be the heavy cream, which obviously is denser. Mm -hmm. And in the middle, it's the light cream mixed with the blue carousel again. Okay. And uh, three olives, orange vodka. And then we're going to put a skewer of uh, strawberries in it. So Red, when you say blue. a layered drink, you're not putting all the alcohol in, and the, the cream in a shaker and shaking it up. It's well, actually going to be kind of We are for the second part because okay. that's the light cream with the, the two, which is going to make that blue color and then put it on top of the white, which is layered, mm -hmm. and then the strawberries on the side are going to so, be red. So we're going to have an instructional video up yes. on our website, bobbyn yes. First we have the first layer. The first layer is the heavy cream. Mm -hmm. And then Matt is whipping up this concoction of three olives vodka, yeah, the orange, orange, vodka. orange flavored. And then what else did you put in there? And then the, bowl, the bowls, blue carousel. Okay, let's show that. Give it that blue. See that? And that's really cream. a sharp bottle. Yeah. Show Ivan. I still don't know how old Ivan is. <laughs> does, does it matter? I guess yeah. not. Ivan can make this for his family. Oh, is Ivan a young man? I have no idea. Okay. Or Ivan could be 100 years old for all Okay. Then we mix that up, and what we're going to do is we're going to try and pour this very slowly over a bar spoon. Okay. And it, it's theoretically going to. Uh, do you have your bartending degree? Uh, degree? Uh, <laughs> degree? <laughs> now will it rise to the top? Uh, well, it should. Right oh. now it looks like a tie-dye shirt. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. The heavy no, cream. No. Sorry, I couldn't think of what it was called. The heavy cream might not be cold enough. Oh, okay. Which is going to be a big problem. Okay, so it needs to be, um, it needs yeah, to be nice the, and cold. Okay. Yeah, it needs to be very cold. Okay. So... Either way, um, shall we set it on my heart? Will it taste the same? Yes. No. Yeah, it's going to taste exactly the same. The same. It's just okay. not, not going to. You're not going to have that red, white, and blue thing. Okay. But eh, you know, it's it is what it is. By the way, Nancy, I, I did get that joke. Do we need a bigger spoon? Thank you. No, it the the heavy cream just needs to be really, really chilled because you're going to have to create that. that okay. And so that's keep what it really, keeps really cold. It separated. Okay. Yeah, so. And you know, really, what it all boils down to, Matt, is how does it taste? That's true. We're going to do a take two. <laughs> so Newman just wants so more. We can't, get the, yeah. we can't get the cream any colder. You're going to have to... Why don't you stare at it? I'll stare at it. My eyes. Oh, it's not going to work either. It's not yeah, you need a larger skewer, but... Yeah. That's okay. Just we put them in. We didn't have this coordinated. Enough. Throw them in. I don't care. Just put them Which in one's there. mine? This is Newman's. Newman's. Well, Bob Howard, what do you think about that? So it still is red well, white. It it's red, it's red wine blue. Yeah. Use your imagination. <laughs> See, there's <laughs> white and blue. Orange flavor. Mmm. Oh, nice. Mm. Good? It, is a, it does taste like Delicate. a green sickle. Yeah. An orange sickle. And you could actually add more orange to this as well if you wanted to. Wow. You could add a little bit of... Uh, high cow. Yeah, more orange. <laughs> it is high cow, yes. High cow, baby. But, yeah, creamy orange. You could add a little bit of orange juice to this, too. See, that what we're going for is the color effect, but you could make it, yeah. If you take this with uh, with light cream and 
a little bit of orange juice and mix that, it's going to be exactly like that. That You know, the creamsicle that right. you right. buy? Mm -hmm. Exactly the same. Yummy. Exactly the same. What do you think, Newman? <laughs> I missed that whole thing. <laughs> Maybe you have to reenact that. Reenact that. You have to reenact that. We gotta do a take two. Okay. 